I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome about to another video. There's another paid request this time from Marv B. Thank you so much for that. For those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, commentaries, re reviews, reviews, randomness, whatever, feel free to send them either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for Gunpowder Milkshake. As great of a title as that is. While this is not the worst film I've seen this year, which is saying a lot, imagine if John Wick sucked, you did come. <laughs> I, I always said cum powder milkshake. It, you know what? It might as well be. That'd be the porn version of this cum powder milkshake. <sighs> Probably J.J. Abrams' favorite meal. But. It stars the lady who played Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy films. You have Paul Giamatti. You have Lena Headey. You have Carla Gugino, Michelle Yeoh, Angela Bassett. And this is a cast wasted by a director who's not that familiar with film and action scenes. By this big fucking feminist Action. This way, if John Wick was shitty and feminist, that's what this film is. Where you have this group called The Firm, Assassins, instead of a hotel, it's a fucking library, and when they need someone to clean up my mess, they send me. And she's doing part of her job, she's ready to shoot this bunch of bad guys, and it cuts away. And it flashes back when she was a kid. Lena Headey is her mom, who's an assassin. You have this goofy fucking bit where they're two, the kid and the mom are drinking a milkshake and they're staring at each other's eyes. It's like the guy, the director thought he was Sergio Leone. He even trying to do music like the Sicilian, like wanna be Ennio Morricone music. As these two are sucking on a milkshake, then mom's eyes then the little girl's eyes i'm like this is meant to be funny i'm not laughing it's meant to be cool it's cringy it just comes out silly as fuck and then bad guys enter the restaurant the mom kills them off screen which is great way to open your film with a bane don't see the fucking action twice now you don't see her kill people at the beginning of the film. In the flashback, you don't see the mom kill people. Again, that's a great way to open your film. Two fucking cock teases. Uh, she leaves, fucks off. Really for no damn good reason. Because you find out that the mom's been watching her the whole time. And the mom just made so that the daughter went into the game herself. So why the fuck did the mom even leave in the first place? Like, Lena Headey left... But then she said she's been keeping an eye on her the whole time. But then you just allowed your daughter to her become a fucking assassin. Well, 
If she was a fucking assassin, that'd be a different movie. Can you imagine that? A Trump West John Wick parody, Jane Wick, as she kills people not with bulls, but by fucking them to death, you know? You know, or the bulls come out of a cooch. I mean, that'd be a different movie. You know, bulls come out of the cooch, the machine gun. There you go, that's an original idea I haven't seen yet. Unless fucking trauma made it. Maybe trauma made it and I don't realize it. If so, if not, and they steal my idea, I know who to sue. Lloyd Kaufman. But, they go, so the lead girl, I don't remember the actress's name. I mean, she played the blue Nebula in Garza Galaxy. Did that makeup hide her shitty acting? Because I thought she did fine as Nebula. And the, again, the Guardians of the Galaxy films, the blue skin, like, assassin, but then she's kind of good, but not really, whatever the hell they try to do with her in the Avengers Endgame and such. Because here she's trying to give her best Scarlett Johansson impersonation, just stilted, no emotion. It made me go, what the fuck is up with actresses today? Do they just not know how to emote? Or they think emoting, if you do that, that's not good acting? Like, they don't have emotions? Everyone, Why do so many actresses today act like a fucking robot? I just they think robots are good actors? I, I... People make fun of Van Damme. Van Damme has emotion during her fights. Her, during his fights, during his bits. Same with Stallone. Same with Arnold. Compared to these, I miss the days of Demi Moore and G.I. Jane and Gina Davis and Long Kiss Night and Sigourney Weaver and Alien Aliens. Your know, actual good actresses. Now maybe she had a shitty script, maybe she had a shitty director, but this lead, I didn't give one iota of crap about. I didn't care one bit. And that hurt any amount of potential fun I could have with it because I didn't give a shit about the lead because she was just acting like a fucking robot like Star Johansson does like Brie Larson does like a lot of these fucking women do nowadays why is it that I gotta look to more either critically derided films like Tin Now with Halle Berry or low budget films like Selma Hayek and Everly where I find actresses actually giving decent to good performances but they're the ones that are bad, but these are ones, you know, feminist bullshit. <clears throat> go watch Tina with Halle Berry, go watch Everly with Selma Hayek, go watch plenty of other films. Anyway, like some of the dialogue, is, the dialogue at times is off as well. Like, I didn't mention the flashback in the diner. Uh, before the bomb shows up to kill him, this Russian guy's like, This mommy of yours. Looks like you. Only bigger and more steady. And I'm like, What the fuck are you trying to do, man? Get the fuck out of here. So, present day, she's working for Paul Giamatti. And when I see Paul Giamatti, I'm like, You know what else this reminds me of? Shoot him up, which is a much better movie. It's like John Wick, shoot him up, and a little bit of like Leon the Professional, like that type of assassin with a little kid with them. Like mixed together, and you know what? Those are all three much better movies. You have John Wick films that are, have much better action than this, much better choreography than this. There's one or two action scenes that were decent, but still hampered by not the best choreography, or sometimes the... Like the first action scene you really see in a bowling alley, it feels that at times they're trying to speed up the camera. Like the actress is going so slow that this little spit's like, okay, that bit there speed up the camera. And then that little bit speed up the camera. And I'm like, I have a feeling these are actresses that have not trained as much as they thought they have. Kind of like Birds of Prey. You go to the fight choreography of Birds of Prey, it's not that great either. Because I'm not saying you need to look like China from WWE, may she rest in peace, or you have to look like the next cover issue of Bodybuilder Magazine, but you need a little bit of muscle. Look at Linda Hamilton T2. 
Look at Debbie Moore and G.I. Jane. I mean, fuck. Because then that helps in action and a little bit more stamina and fights and movements. Learn from Keanu Reeves and John Wick, for fuck's sake. One, uh... The actresses of John Wick are humo just above and beyond above anything in this movie. So she goes to the library to get new guns, and this library has Michelle Yeoh, Angela Bassett, and Carla Drugino. Actresses I like. But Michelle Yeoh, she needs either to fire her agent or get better roles. She's like, now anytime... Is it, she's in, what, isn't she the, in the new Shang-Chi movie that looks like shit? Uh, she's in this movie that's shit. Angela Bassett, I like her. And the guns are in books. And this is kind of a weird motif because it's a library. What if someone comes into the library and rents out a book with a gun in it? Do they get shot in the head? Just God forbid they... Oh shit. They rented a book they weren't supposed to. Sorry, that book is out. No, it's not. I see it right there. No, you can't have it. it. I mean, having the guns in the book seems like a weird idea. Because I guess their motif is, well, no one reads books today in the library, which maybe they got a point. But still, if someone does just wander in and say, hey, I want to rent that book. Nope, you can't. Why? Because there's a gun in it. It's not for you. And also, there's like books willy-nilly in the library that just has random guns in it. Some lucky, so some unlucky poor is gonna wander into that, that fucking library, look around. Oh shit, there's a gun. Poop. Whoops, too, too bad. What the fuck? Why am I dead? Well, cause you opened up the wrong book, pal. I mean, at least John three, it was one book that he found. It wasn't like every other fucking book in the library. But anyway. As that's sort of a weird... At least a hotel. The... Oh, check in a room. That guy could choose which room you're in. And then there's secret coins you have to put in in order to get to the next part of the hotel. You know, that type of thing. At least there's that. But anyway. She... Our lead gets new guns from there. She's hired to get money from this guy. She, she gets there. The guy needs to answer the phone. The lead shoots him. He later on dies. Uh, his daughter's in trouble. So the lead is like, I gotta go get the daughter. And don't worry, I'll bring your money back to you. Get to the bowling alley. And again, just the lead has a fucking robot personality in this. I'll try not to kill you too. Are you understanding that? Like, do you have a bit more feeling? Do you have a bit more... I mean, why, why is it that so many actresses are just fucking dead-faced, bland, robotic? This is how I'd be a badass. I'm like, you're not having any presence or charisma doing it. Sorry, you think you're at... That's what I think. I think a lot of these actresses, they think they're actress stars of the 80s, but only they had the it factor and presence and charisma... The, that star making it factor. Damn. Like even early Steven Seagal. Did you have career where credits do? I'm going to take you to the bank senator. The blood bank. Or women like Gina Davis. Demi Moore. Sigourney Weaver. Amy Steele. Lisa Wilcox. To say. Angelina Jolie in the first Tomb Raider movie, for fuck's sake. Jennifer Lopez and Anaconda has more emotion to her performance than some of these fucking ladies today. I don't know what the fuck the deal is. Maybe they're told to act that way. If you're bland, you're good. No, it makes you boring to fucking watch. So... Ho Choreography that sucks, speeding up the frames. I swear, there's certain frames that it speeds up. 
beats him up. She weighs like 25 pounds. I don't buy her doing it, but whatever. Then these four guys that wear universal like monster masks. I'm like, okay, that's a weird choice. I guess it's try to have like this. With the color coding of the movies, at times try to have this maybe comic book humor, whatever you want to call it. Because again, these other four villains, not the people she beat up, these other who have the daughter hostage. Like, one's a werewolf, one's wearing a vampire, one's wearing a Frankenstein monster mask. I'm like, whatever. And then they stupidly, idiotically get the money, get in the car, and 10 seconds later start killing each other. You can't wait till you get to a hotel. You can't wait till you get to a safe distance. You can't wait until, I don't know, any fucking where, any fucking time. Literally 10 seconds later, you start killing each other. You guys are all fucking idiots. And the guy in the backseat tries to kill someone while these other people are driving. I'm like, dude, you're not even driving. The motherfucker could stop, swerve, crash, flip the fucking car. Anything. Put on the brake, grab your gun, shoot you in the face. I didn't wait until you was. Any other time you could fucking wait. When you're away from the fucking crime scene. No, they're stupid. They're stupid, stupid, stupid. You're so stupid. And they get killed. They kill each other for idiots. For being idiots. And the money gets blown up. And how clever the, the guy with the vampire mask... The lead stabs him with a stake. Does he have a vampire mask on? I don't give a shit. This plot's not interesting. It's not intriguing. There's nothing in there that I find that unique to bring me in. I did just remind me of John Wick and shoot him up. And again, other movies deal with assassins. I'd rather watch the lead. Has no interesting backstory for me to give a shit. The actress itself, I have no... Other than her being Nebula, I don't give a fuck. And her acting is robotic and bland and boring. Sorry. I'm not sorry, I'm being honest. And it's one of those where she got shot, there's no reaction. I'm like, you know what? Cameron Poe can do get shot, I don't feel anything bit. You can, lady, I'm sorry, you can't. Because she's a girl? No, because she sucks. At least in this movie. If it's Sigourney Weaver, I could probably buy it. Sam Hyde Everly, I could buy with that character. So then she saves the girl. They go to the hospital. The, the girl's dad's dead. This next action scene, I didn't mind in the fact that I like the creativity involved. Where the doctor hit her with something so her arms don't work which I find weird if you could stab her why don't you just stab her with poison I got a needle when I stab her her arms won't work and you'll have this amount of time I'm like dude if you have enough time to stab her in the neck with an injection why don't you just have it be poison because you now want her dead or alive just have it be poison. Or, I don't know, something to knock her the fuck out, not just her arms. Like, what's the point of injector with something that only her arms don't work? If your injectors, why don't you have the whole fucking body doesn't work? It's called knockout. There are ways to knock people out with needles. I know this. Anesthesia? And he does ultimately hit her in the neck with it. Again, if it was a normal doc... I'm going to knock you out. Okay, great. We tie her up. Dear the fuck back to Paul Giamatti. You do what you want. No. Uh, this makes it so your arms don't work. Now, uh, it's an action scene where the three people she beat up in the bowling alley and then her fight and she has to fight with her arms. I like the creativity involved with the idea with that. But you know what? Jackie Chan... Would make that scene work much, much better. Or maybe Michelle Yeoh. Especially in the super cop days. Uh, I mean, there's potentially interesting ideas within that scene. Having the stab shoot people while 
I mean, at least his inventive and the execution is a bit bloody. Despite not caring about the lead, despite the fact that I think this choreography would be better if you had someone like Jackie Chan or someone who is that adept at physicality would make the scene better. But at least I like... And the setup for it is stupid. Again, not to knock her out, just to knock her arms out. You explain that to me, fine. Don't, we don't want to kill her, fine, you can knock her out. Even my neighbor's rooster say, what the fuck is that? I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't understand it either, I don't get it, but whatever. You can explain it to me. We want her safe. Okay, you can be safe by knocking her out with the same needle. Fuck if I know. So then she gets the kid after she kills those three. And she goes to a place. Lena Hetty is there. And they try to do this comedy that seems like it's a shitty family film. Where... Oh, the kid is there, so we gotta hide our curse words. Oh, that was a jerk move. Or we gotta say fudge. There's a car chase where the girl's driving, and the lead is behind her, telling her where to drive. I, I mean, it, it was there. You know, it was there as a car chase. I've seen much worse, I've seen better. I'm indifferent on it. After that is when they find her mom, Lena Hetty. Oh, you're frothing at the mouth. And the the lead girl's so stupid she thinks it's literal and she starts wiping her mouth. The three of them have to escape. They get to the library and Angela Bass is giving some awful dialogue because Lena Hetty used to know them. She left without saying goodbye. She's like, Angela Bess is going on about ghosts can't talk. I know that. Because if ghosts could talk, they would say something before disappearing. But they can't. I'm like, what the fuck are you babbling about? My neighbor's roosters are like, what the fuck are they babbling about? As soon as I start talking about this film, they go crazy. Because they don't get it either. They're about ready to explode so we can have some KFC dinner. I don't fucking know, man. Like, awful dialogue. Ghost can't talk. I know that because if ghosts could talk, they would say something before disappearing. But they can't. And because this is a little kid, they're literally... Lena Hetty and Angela Bassett are going, Fudge you! Fudge you! Fudge you! Fudge you! Fudge you! Fudge this fucking flick. And fuck this fudging flick. How about that? So finally you get a finale where... Those three women, they're ready to leave. They decide to stay and help. Carla Dragino's going to protect the kid. Michelle Yo and Angela Bassett get their weapons. The lead girl and the mom, they start having an action bit, killing some bad guys. They shoot some of the bad guys. Michelle Yo leads three or four guys to where she's at, where she fights him with a chain. Angela Bassett. Gets three or four people to this other room. Fights him with a hammer. Carl Gorgino has a gun. No, no, no. Uh, Lena Hetty. Lena Hetty has a gun with like a knife attached to it. And the lead girl has like a police baton thing. Carl Gorgino has a mini gun. But she still misses the one guy. <laughs> and then she gets shot and killed. I mean, the action, it's not the worst action I've seen. I mean, go watch Taken 2, go watch Taken 3, with how action scenes are edited. edited. I mean, even some of the, the Bourne films. with the, But this is not nearly as swift or smooth or as steadily shot as, say, a John Wood film or shoot 'em up. Again, speaking of Paul Giamatti. And then one guy just shows up to this gunfight with a sledgehammer. I'm like, 
You, you're lucky there's no more fucking bullets because you showed up with a sledgehammer. What if you showed up and someone had to like, run your fucking head? So much for your sledgehammer. But no, he showed up with a sledgehammer. He didn't know they were out of bullets. It's like he literally just showed up with a sledgehammer. And I'm like, there's like all these people with guns and bullets and you, do you, th are you, what, you think you fucking steal? With Shaquille O'Neal, you think you're steel with your fucking sledgehammer? You John Henry? This is still better than John Henry, Sally. <laughs> That's an awful film, John Henry. This is still better than that piece of shit. But it's still not, it's not much, it's still a kind of piece of shit. Maybe it's not a total piece of shit, but it's kind of a piece of shit. That's the idea. It's not the worst film I've seen. It's probably one of, one of those films I will forget I have seen, though. By the end of it, people are like, uh, you saw that movie? I went, fuck, yep, I forgot about it. So they go get the girl. The girl's been taken to a diner. The lead girl, Lena Headey, Angela Bassett, Michelle Yeoh, most of them dressed up as waitresses. And I don't mind this bit at the end with the slow motion. I don't mind the song being used, Baby Blue. The slow motion, some people get hit. Uh, and it's like the slow pan through the diner as all the slow motion. I, mean, I don't mind that. I don't mind that as a scene by itself. I mean, I don't know about the choreography, but, you know, it, it's decently violent. It's decently brutal. At least it's a tracking shot. I'm not seeing multiple edit upon edited scenes. But th this whole feminist thing with, like, every fucking guy, every guy film is a piece of shit or an asshole or a villain I say except maybe the little girl's dad who uh, is not white so because white people are evil at least that's what I've been told so it's like okay boys drool girls rule yeah whatever fuck I'm tired of that fuck whatever people love that good on you So again, think of a feminist John Wick, only more boring, less eventful, and def not as much action as the John Wick films. And I mean, okay, you think of the action bits that actually happened, it would see the bowling alley bit, the car chase. Before that, the hospital scene, that library ending bit, and the diner. Let's see, about. And you maybe two or three of them I thought were okay. You know, getting the last bit in the diner. I like the slow motion tracking shot, decently violent. The uh, during the scene, you see like Michelle Yeoh gets her eye cut during it, and that's why later on she has an eye patch. I went, like, ooh, you know, that one got me reaction when she got cut in the eye during that panty shot. I'm like, ooh, it's not that good. I think because the director is not that experienced, so he's not experienced directing the actors. Because I've seen Michelle Yeoh and Angela Bass, I've seen these actors do better work. But this is one of their weaker films because, again, this is a guy that doesn't have much experience. You need a guy with more experience. Whether technical front or directing actors or whatever. So the acting's not that great. The dialogue is lame. Uh, the music want to be like Baby Driver type of soundtrack. That film did it better because, I, I, yes, I like Baby Driver. Not everyone does. I like that movie. And a boring lead. And then you just watch this film. You go, I just, let me just go watch John Wick films again. Let me just go watch Everly with Selma High. Let me go watch Shoot 'em Up. Uh, the Professional. There's plenty of other films dealing with assassins or badass ladies or all sorts of stuff you can watch. Halle Berry was badass in John Wick 3. And she did, wasn't a fucking blank state. Blank state of slate of slate of state. Fuck. Maybe make a state out. To look at fucking Hollywood, look at how they write movies, direct movies, and be like, oh, that's how you're fucking up. 
So gunpowder, cum powder, milkshade, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That was rather lame. Forgettable, lame. I would never see it again. If you love it, good on you. You give it two thumbs up, good on you. To me, didn't give a rat's ass. With a better lead, more competent action director, more interesting points of the story, a director that knows how to direct the actors more, improved dialogue. You literally shoot them up. Shoot them up is purposely having these crazy one-liners. And you look at like Paul Giamatti. You look at the way Paul Giamatti is directed that film. In this film, Paul Giamatti is directed to be boring. You look at Paul Giamatti and shoot him up. He's fucking crazy, insane. He's having a ball. Your guns don't kill people, but they certainly help. <laughs> Yeah, just go watch shoot them up. So, we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.